Well, hey folks, it's Richard with Fishing and Freedom here again. Do something a little different today. Uh, got home from work, the mailman left me something. I got me a new reel. And the reason I got a new reel was on the last video, um, where I caught that blue and a few flatheads over on the river. Yeah, I almost killed my old Tidewater, which I've had forever. I love this reel. And it wasn't because of all the big fish, it was me mistreating it. So this has been an awesome reel, a really tough reel. And I got hung up pretty bad and instead of just wrapping my line and breaking it, I got some big old heavy mono and I was just jerking and ripping. And anyway, she's about gone. But it's been a good one and I need to replace it. So I was looking around on Amazon um, and they're really pushing some of these cheaper Chinese reels and a bunch of brands I've never heard of, some I can't pronounce, this being one of them. But, man, they look really good for the money. They look comparable to a lot of the other ones that are out there, and Amazon's pushing them. And I thought, hey, why not? I'll give it a try. And here we go. Let's check it out. It is the Slagailing. I'm sure somebody somewhere is going to correct me. I probably butchered that. And hey, I don't speak Chinese, so give me a break. I'm going to call it a Swagailing. But man, this thing, this, I read the specs on it. It looks pretty dang good. I was looking at the uh, Cast King Rovers and the, what was the other one? The Pacific Fun uh, Chaos 50s and all those. They have bubble wrap. I can't help myself. But anyway, this one was right there amongst them, and the price was about right. It was just a little bit cheaper. And I don't know. I had a good feeling about it. May regret it, but we'll find out. Haven't looked at this thing yet. It's a little smaller than I thought it was going to be. Of course, coming from this thing, <laughs> of course, it's going to be a little smaller. But... Man, them old Tidewaters were beast. Super heavy. This thing doesn't weigh anything compared to that. They call this the Swagailing Warrior Series. This is a 6,000 size. They offer this in a 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. This is the WA-60, which is their 6,000. I don't know. It looks like a 6,000, but it's a little small. But it's got a one-piece reel seat. I like that. It's actually metal. This whole thing is aluminum. Uh, there's no plastic on it. Uh, the only thing that's not aluminum, I think, is the gear is actually brass. Uh, of course, bearings are stainless steel. It's uh, six plus one bearings. Smooth, it's really smooth. It's supposed to have a micro click star drag. I don't feel or hear any clicks. It just feels like regular old friction drag. Yeah, there ain't no micro clicks. But it's got the actual one break here. I'm sure you're all used to. And it's got another one. So it's got a two-stage break on it. Six plus one bearing. And one thing that impressed me, it says it has 22 pounds of drag. We'll see about that. But if so, that's pretty hefty. It's got carbon fiber uh, drag disc. I don't know, so far it looks pretty good. Smooth. Ooh, I like the clicker. It's actually got a loud clicker. I think it's actually a little louder than like a Cat Max or something. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it had some play in there. It had a lot of slack in there. Now that, right there, that time it's instant. That time it's instant. Uh, maybe it just hit the right spot, but I had probably a, almost a, a quarter turn before it engaged. Oh, no, right there, look at that. Not quite a quarter turn, but hey, I can live with it. My old Shakespeare did the same thing. But anywho, it looks pretty good. Feels pretty smooth. We are gonna put it on, of course, <laughs> the old ugly stick. The old ugly stick that's probably as old as I am. I love this thing, I've had it forever. You can't break them. Um, I don't know. 
I love this bowl. So I'm gonna put it on there, put some string on it, and take it out in the yard, set the brakes, and try to do some casting with it. So I'll see you in a minute. Well, got her all strung up. And let's see it. One thing I noticed immediately is the drag, or not the drag, the braking systems suck. Um, okay, that's about as good as I could get it. And that is with both drags locked down as tight as I could get them. Loose them any at all, and it just it backlashes. Just dropping it from there to the floor, just bird's nest. So I had to, you know, sit there and adjust them, drop and whatever. Which, that ain't bad, but that's completely locked down. Both of them just as tight as you can get them. So, anyway, brake system sucks, but let's see how she does. All right, so I made a couple practice casts, and, I mean, it casts fine, no backlash. Uh, but I could only go about 20 yards with the brakes locked all the way down. So I started easing them off just a little. And, man, you got to be on your thumb game. So I'm steadily just backing them off a little, seeing if I can get a little more distance out of it. But you really got to really got to keep your thumb on there. That was much better. That went, I don't know, 40, 45 yards. I wasn't really trying, just kind of lobbing it out there. Throwing a three ounce bank sinker. That's average to light for me, depending on where I'm at. A lot of times from the current, I'll be throwing four or five ounce lead plus the weight of my bait and everything. I mean, quite a bit heavier. Let's see, back that one off just there. Yeah. Hey, not bad. You really got to keep that thumb though as soon as it touches, man, or right before you got to stop it. Feels pretty smooth. It's a four, yeah, four to one gear ratio. Not sure what the retrieve is, you know, inches per turn or whatever. But yeah, it feels pretty smooth. Um, it does have an oversized handle. I'm just really comfortable with a power handle. I like the power handles on my other, you know, big reels. But I can live with it. I don't mind it. I just kind of like the power handles um i don't know i like the little grips though it's got some really nice little grips yeah that's that's about as tight as i want to put that drag i they can say what they want but i don't believe that's 22 pounds And the drag's a little jerky. It's not very smooth. Yeah, you loosen her a little bit. That ain't bad. But anyway, there's plenty of drag for anything I'm going to catch. You know, I'm not fishing in the ocean. I like that clicker, though. That clicker sounds really good. I, I do like the, uh, man, the release, that's, it's got a really good spring in there. Huh. It's really easy. You don't have to really force it. And when it goes, man, it goes. Let's try to lob this thing out there a little farther. Not bad. That was... An easy 50 yards. Yeah, so far, I mean, it seems pretty good. It's a good looking thing. Soylang Warrior. WA-60. Warrior 60. I mean, I'm, for the money, I uh, found this, like I said, on Amazon. It was $49 for 50 bucks, free shipping. I mean... I'm not going to gripe about it at all. I can find a flaw with anything. 
So of course I'm going to pick this thing apart because I'm trying to do just an honest, you know, review. Uh, one thing I think the brake system sucks. The drag is not 20. It doesn't generate 22 pounds of drag, but whatever. Uh, I like it. It's really comfortable. It's it's taking some getting used to because I'm used to those giant, you know, big old level winds ahead and you know the tide water and that ATS. And, so it's just gonna take a little getting used to, but man, I like it. Big test will be once I get hung up a time or two and really put some torque on it. Uh, Want to catch a couple big fish and really work that drag over. But I would say, man, if you're looking for a cheap reel, well, let me re rephrase that: an inexpensive reel. Um, and you're not wanting to, you know, spend a fortune, or you just can't. And this would be, this would be a good option. I mean, it'll catch fish. I'll guarantee you, I'm going to catch some fish on it. Are there better ones? Absolutely. Are there worse ones? Yep, I've had some. Pretty smooth. I mean, it casts smooth. One thing I would say is, go old school. Be sure and use that thumb. One thing I noticed too, the real seat, I don't know if it's just, I don't know if it's just the real seat is maybe a little narrower or this old ugly stick's just so wide, but there's a little play in there. I may have to shim that with something maybe. So I can tighten it down a little more. Well, that's not bad. Tighten it down, it helped a little. But hey, it's Chinese made but it's all metal they used good materials on it it's pretty black and red looks good cast good i bet you it'll catch fish so i don't know we'll see next video uh, maybe i'll just throw this one for a while try to catch a fish on it let y'all know how it does but thanks for watching god bless we'll see you on the next one